Hey guys, uh, welcome to this presentation. Mr. Matthew will be presenting on his topic for his independent project in the course Answers Fluent. All right. Uh, this is Matthew Karvin Koba. Uh, I'm enrolled for one of the course for Ad Advanced Answers Fluent. So the independent project that I've done on the basis of the experience that I've been gained in this uh, course, that is the numerical in investigation of phase change material based heat sink under different heat loads. So this mainly is focused on application of electronic cooling. Yeah, uh, so in introduction, we will see what is exactly a phase change material. So this phase change material has been gained, uh, recently has gained a popularity uh, in the recent uh, case studies or in the recent application areas. So it's mainly due to its thermal energy storage that has, has a high latent, uh, it has a high heat capacity and a high heat latent heat. heat. So the various different phase change materials that includes are organic paraffins, metallic alloys and inorganic solvents which undergo reversible phase transformation. It means from solid to liquid and liquid to solid. So to, due to this isothermal behavior, the, during the melting and solidification process, so it has been used for, as I've explained, it has been used for various applications, mainly into storage in buildings, and widely used now currently into thermal, model, thermal controls in electronic modules. So the main objective of this uh, independent project is to see uh, and apply this patient material for the transient cooling system, mainly for the IC, and to keep the temperature of the IC below 85 degrees Celsius, which is the threshold one. So if the temperature of this IC or the processor or component goes above 85, it fails. And this has been mainly for, based on the experimental study, where the CMP results are validated with the experiment. So this is the actual setup of the experimental one that I've considered. So I have uh, cited the reference uh, which I've used. Uh, so this is the actual setup which is having a width of 80 mm and height 25 mm. And uh, it has a various pockets. You can see so this experimental setup has been performed for a various dimensions. So this pocket is being manufactured by using a common milling operation. So you can see 16 different pockets. Yeah, a four into four matrix. Uh, so, into this uh, is been kind of more modeled into an uh, ANSYS design modeler, or even you can do, we use can use space claim, and which is again further meshed. So you can see this meshing part that is been used. The the methodology that is been applied, yeah, the numerical model is developed in line with the actual actual experimental setup, and the PCM phase change material that is been used is N equals A, which is filled in the cavity, fully filled. Yeah, and uh, the various phase change material, as I've explained, there are organic. Uh, one example, most common example, is the paraffin wax, and the heat flux that is supplied to the heat sink is at the bottom. So the study has been mainly performed for two different heat fluxes, that is three and nine seven zero watt per meter square and two thousand watt per meter square. Experimentally, it has been performed for different uh, heat fluxes, but for numerical, I've considered these two heat fluxes. The PCM receives the heats at the bottom and the heat has been conducted to the PCM uh, through conduction. So it's uh, again a conjugate heat transfer. Again, the heat melting of the uh, heat uh, PCM takes place by receiving the heat from the bottom. The governing equations. Now we generally come across this govern, governing equation, the continuity momentum and the energy equation. So the governing equations for this particular uh, doing it in ANSYS fluent, we have to enable the solid melting model, so which uses the enthalpy porosity technique. As I have said, this PCM is mainly due to the high latent heat of fusion and high specific heat. So this has been done by using enthalpy porosity technique. Yeah, so the melting of the PCM will take place. So when it is in the solid zone, it is actually zero and when it turns into liquid, it, it turns to one. So from between to 0 to 1, this zone is called as machine zone, which is a semi-solid or you can get a uh, yeah, semi-solid. So this machine zone is been characterized by some one constant parameter that is C equal to 10 to 2 pi. That is the default one. So depending upon the variation or the stability of the solution, we can vary this machine zone constant parameter. Yeah, as I've explained this, uh, it fully uh, becomes zero for solidified solidification and one for the liquid. So the energy equation that is being considered is the total enthalpy of the material. That is, the, this is a generalized uh, enthalpy equation or sorry energy equation that is being used. And this 
even we can calculate analytically in this uh, alpha parameter that is a liquid fraction uh, it is been used somewhere as beta this beta can be or alpha can be calculated by using the t solid solidification temperature of the pcm liquid temperature at a particular time yes, we will be getting this time temperature yes so this is the momentum equation that is been again considered which is again uh, considered for even the modeling part because as the uh, pcm gets melted uh, so even it has some uh, viscosity viscosity changes even the density changes so even the viscosity is change, uh, changing it has some velocity so even it is called as uh, it has uh, some parameter so it is called as pool velocity so even that can be modeled in this case now the mainly the boundary condition that is been applied for this model is the new uh, that is uh, we have this uh, for numerically has been done for natural mode of heat transfer and at the bottom it is at, uh, ambient condition and for the lateral uh, uh, it is uh, for lateral boundary condition it is adiabatic and at the top it is at the atmospheric pressure that is a gauge pressure so even the grid converging index has been performed for this like we have mesh independency we do call it as normally so this uh, grid converging index has been referred with respect to one reference research paper that is roche pg that has been cited which has been widely used in the current researches researchers uh, to get an optimal mesh to reduce and to reduce the uh, computational time uh, so this uh, grid converging index uh, is uh, is been performed that a table is been shown and the present simulation uh, even at the wherever the, there is a pcm zone uh, is been there so that zone requires fine mesh to uh, capture the parameters like uh, liquid fraction and even you will have a fine uh, stabilized solution the, the zone of the pcm material should be fine uh, should be fine in case of meshing so the convergence criteria uh, that is been set for energy is e raised to minus 6 and for continuity momentum it is e raised to minus 3 so you can see the table that is been used so there are four different mesh sizes that is been uh, shown here in the table uh, for this for the first three variation for, for first three uh, mesh uh, thing there is a variation in the temperature but when you go from 3 to 4 there is a, not that much change you mean to say 0 0.1 degrees Celsius or 0 0.2 degrees Celsius there is a change but so I've considered the only the third one which is having a less mesh elements and the less computational time uh, and the properties of n equals n phase change that is being used these are experimentally calculated so that is again being used here in this case for numerical as well density that is 785 thermal conductivity the in this case the dynamic viscosity and the density are being modeled, modeled as piecewise linear function where it means to say that the temperature uh, of the sorry the density and the thermal that is further of the pcm changes with respect to the temperature so it has been considered as piecewise linear and the latent even latent heat of fusion you can see it is 241000 joule per kg which is very high and the melting point is 36.5 so i come to the point how to choose a phase change material for different application in the later case now in the previous case we have seen the uh, actual setup the model and the boundary condition so after applying to this the control parameters or the algorithm that is being used is simple algorithm yes uh, for this solving this particular case and you can see as the results and discussion the graph shows the graph shows for the two different heat fluxes the variation of heat sink temperature with respect to time so this time transient temperature is being considered till uh, 2500 seconds or more than 2000 seconds yeah uh, you can see this for higher heat flux the temperature in this case the temperature of the heat sink is reaches to 320 kelvin and whereas for the lower heat flux for 2000 it reaches to 30 or 306 or 307 kelvin yeah and where in the below graph you will come to know uh, like when the temperature reaches to 320 kelvin this temperature the melting fraction of the PCM that is as turned from 0 to 1 for the same point it means it is been turned fully into liquid yeah but in the uh, other case for 2000 it is been till only 60 percent yeah so the melting it is into a semi-solid region right 
so there is no uh, melting no 100% melting of the pcl so what this suggests is that uh, the pcl should or the heat flux uh, or the pcl should be chosen uh, such that the temperature of the uh, main the source from where it is going to receive the heat should have a higher temperature uh, than the uh, pcm temperature yeah and so these are the some uh, contours that is been plotted for temperature as well as melting fraction yeah for 2000 for the lower heat part 2000 watt per meter square now the weather now to see even though we have performed a uh, mesh independent study to validate these uh, results uh, the validation of the same result is been done with respect to the uh, numerical model for the heat flux of 3970 you can see there is a little bit variation uh, from the experimental part from this graph the black one and the red one is the numerical part there is a variation of 10% so it is it is slightly uh, it is accepted this uh, variation is accepted in because in this case uh, experimentally some of the uh, material is being uh, lost for example for mounting of the thermocouple the glue is being performed yeah and to mounting of the heater and all some of the glues are performed through milling at the bottom so there is a little bit variation in this case but this is accepted to of 10.34% yeah and then now the melting fraction melting fraction of heat flux for higher heat flux that is 3970 and for 2000 watt per meter square so you can see this this is this an animation that is been produced uh, from the simulations uh, for higher one and the lower one so this this case is for only for 60% 60 of melting This is for hundred percent of it. Yeah. Uh, so at the end of this thing, I would like to conclude that the temperature of the IC of the heat sink is brought down by using a phase change material that is which is by uh, uh, using heat sink. And then uh, it goes in is used for mainly for electronic cooling that has a melting point of thirty six point five. And the energy stored during melting of PCM means again released during solidification process. Yeah. So the the even we can use the different uh, I mean to say different phase change materials like Vinwax or uh, and ruby uh, ruby therm of forty five or eight forty five which is having a less uh, melting point as compared to the eighty five degrees. The eighty five degrees is the threshold for the ICs, and so with respect to that, a less a PCM having a less temperature should be selected. So it depends upon the application or for which application we have to use it. Yeah, so these are the references uh, that has been uh, used for this current study.